so what I uh, find exciting about the way Stanford is approaching uh, applied quantitative reasoning is that there are a variety of classes that you can take, uh, but they all share in common a feature that students um, go in and they use data and they manipulate data and they use data in various ways to understand uh, a, a variety of, of problems or topics, you know, from uh, water and water quality to environmental science to probability and statistics. And the way that these are skills are useful um, is if you're not in even uh, you know a quantitative reasoning sort of a, a major, you can go out and, and understand really the, the the numbers that people use to communicate uh, problems in the world. A typical exercise in an AQR course involves uh, certain quantities and principles for handling these quantities. For example, suppose you and I uh, had to divide a cake fairly. How should we do it? What principles should we use? Uh, suppose we ask many respondents how fair is a given division of the cake. Different respondents will give different answers. What statistical procedures uh, best help us to figure out the sources of these differences? That's the kind of question we consider in my introductory statistics class. We learn about probability, how to summarize a large mass of data into a few statistics like the mean and standard deviations. We learn how to decide if a significant relationship exists between uh, one variable uh, and another. And these are things that uh, apply in many walks of life. Students tell me that this material is actually quite helpful uh, in their jobs, in medical school, in research. In other words, they feel that uh, it helps them to contribute better in a world that is increasingly data-driven. So uh, I teach a class called Energy in the Environment, and one of the, the uh, assignments that we do is we go in and the, the students actually model um, world oil production and make predictions about the future. I, and I think, in a way, it nicely encapsulates uh, some of the skills that, that people um, acquire in the AQR um, way, and that's being able to you know, work with data, um, perhaps model it, and uh, you know, understand some of what you may read in the media about uh, how people have taken uh, numbers and converted them into some sort of a prediction. So tired, so tired, so tired, so tired, so tired.